guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here if you're new here please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my new youtube family don't forget the bell button then you're notified every time i upload a new video don't forget the like button and to leave a comment down below because all of those things will definitely help and if you're not new here thank you guys so much for continually coming back and just being here with me. I appreciate it all so much. I want to let you know that I am pre-recording this. I'm recording it on Wednesday when I did record my whole thing about um, my trunk or treat. If you didn't watch my Wednesday video, it's supposed to be Tuesday. I wanted to say Tuesday. My Wednesday video, um, I put an ask out there on what your ideas were. I gave my four ideas. Um, Barbie, Haunted Carnival, Ghost, or Wednesday for my trunk or treat and asked for opinions. So feel free to give me those opinions here too, which ones do you think would be best? Um, because I'm having trouble deciding, but I haven't talked about it again because I'm recording everything on the same day. So when you see me next week on Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll be able to talk about your guys' thoughts. So if you have any thoughts on that, leave it down in the comments below. With all, oh, excuse me, with all that said, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Um, it's no, nothing birthday party related unless I feel like I need to add something on the end because I by now have done more shopping because it's birthday party day and I had to go buy a few more things. Um, so if I add that on the end, then you'll see a few things there, but they're not like party party stuff, I guess, kind of. So there's that, but let's get started. I'm going to start with my one plus item that I picked up because isn't this a doll? So I picked up this ghost pillow. It was $5 in the plus section um, because if you were here several collective hauls back I got a ghost blanket um, and it's black and white and it's got ghosts on it and I thought this would be so cute sitting on the couch with the blanket I'm gonna cut the tags off and stuff but um, I just thought it was the cutest little thing so I had to have it for five dollars I'm on a ghost kick I'm loving the black and white and the ghosts um, and you're gonna see that spread throughout this haul. I'm also going to show you some Halloween finds that I have, but they are going to turn into a giveaway sometime in um, September. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna tell you yet or not if it's giveaway stuff, but some of this is going to turn into giveaway. Um, I picked this up because I was excited when I saw it. It says carton sealing tape, uh, but it's really thick tape and it looks very similar to packing tape. But if I, if you don't know, and I've been talking about, I started an eBay business and I use boxes sometimes and this roll of tape was a great find. And if not for eBay, it's great for um, sending happy mail and stuff. So I scooped that up. Also, we've been getting ready for a garage sale. We have boxes we've been taping up. So just tape in general, like what a great find. Um, this, look at how cute this is. So this is glow in the dark and they had a whole display so they had I think like a chip bowl like a big bowl and they had a tray they had this one which is like the three little thing I feel kind of sad now that I didn't pick it all up if I come across it again I'll probably pick up more pieces to this set because it's so cute and it glows in the dark um it was a dollar 25 because they've been pricing their stuff more often now but how cute is this for Halloween like I've been into the ghosts all right, my nose has a tickle. Um, this too, I've seen these in the past, but I think this is the first time I've seen it as a ghost. And it's the little candy dispenser. And when you look in there, you can see that it turns, but you need very small things in here. I think I think Reese's peanut butter or Reese's pieces would work because those are little, or the, like the mini ones, or mini M and M's, or you just want something small in there. I wonder if jelly beans might work too. But I just thought he was so cute, this little ghost little dispenser thing and so I decided I had to pick it up it's like you can see kind of the little holes there and then like that's open so it would fall through and catch right here so I just thought that was really cute with the little ghost and um, so I picked it up because it was just kind of different and I thought he was really cute um, these I think I don't use the word a lot but I think these went viral last year or they're real popular last year um, they're the little ghost cups and when I came across them I scooped another one up I did find them last year I put them out with my stuff but I had to buy another one because he's so cute just a happy little ghost with like the little hat on um, oh my last Dollar Tree haul on Wednesday I showed some socks and I forgot this pair. It is more of the Disney socks. This one I got the little alien guy. He's my favorite Toy Story character, but it was under other stuff. So it goes with, um, I got Woody and Buzz socks and I thought that the little set of 
Disney Toy Story socks. Like, how cute is that? So, I grabbed that one, too. Um, speaking of socks, no, because they're a bunch of buried. We'll just keep going with some of my Halloween finds. Um, I picked these up. I want to make a, I think I have this one already, but I want to make a pillow out of it. I was watching past Dollar Tree crafts and stuff, getting some ideas, and I saw where they were using these flower sack, um, towels as pillows and I ruined two of my summer pillows in the washing machine they got stuck and like ripped and so I'm going to take the stuffing out of them and so I thought I would do this one because in my living room I actually do candy corn as one of my decor pieces so I thought this would be really cute and then I'm doing a um, hocus pocus party for my youth group and I thought maybe this would be cute it says this is where the magic happens with the cauldron and then on the other side is going to be like stars and potions and stuff and so i thought that would be cute for the hocus pocus party and it's kind of got the right color scheme of the green orange and kind of not quite purple but kind of purplish so i'm gonna make those into pillows i think i don't know if i'm gonna sew them or if i'm going to um just hot glue them because that works too because they're just decorative I think in my next haul there will be more socks, but I got these. Oh my gosh. So these are soft, or did I already haul the Halloween socks? I think I might have already hauled them. Um, but these ones are more of the taller socks, not like the shorter ones with the purple and orange and the happy little ghost. I'm loving the ghost. How cute is that? It's one of my ideas, like doing a ghost theme for my trunk or treat. It's like one of the easy ones, but i'm really loving the ghost so that's why it's on that list all right i did pick up four of these um i am helping you'll see in probably my next haul or two where i'm helping my best friend and she's doing a lot too but she's going to share her stuff for me to haul it my best friend's daughter's birthday is in october and she, this year for her birthday party theme she just wants it to be halloween themed which i think is awesome and so she wanted some of these for the birthday party and I wanted some for my movie watching party that I'm doing and so we're just going to share them and I picked them up and it's to do like an apple bar like a caramel apple bar and so you put all your little treats and stuff inside for your caramel apples and so you like you would do like Reese's peanut butter or Reese's pieces and M&Ms and nuts and whatever else you put on a candy apple and you fill them up with the goodies that you would dip your apple in caramel and then into the goodies and so they come with four and I, she wanted two to three for hers and that's i was thinking the same number but i picked up four of them because i also think i want to do some crafts with them and so i grabbed several i think they're a little different than in years past or actually i think usually i use the saint patrick's day ones because they kind of have like the fire at the bottom and I don't recall that from any of my other ones but I think I'm thinking of the St. Patrick's Day ones they're just they're not a cauldron they're a pot or these are cauldrons so I do have four of those there's the other one and the other one so um like I said three to two to three of them are for for that whole thing and then and then the rest are for other stuff um, I saw this and I try not to pick up too many of the desk like tabletop decors now because once you have a bunch you have a bunch but this one was so cute it says boo to you and it's, look at that little ghost on top and it's sparkly it doesn't rub off too much but oh my gosh I just thought it was the cutest thing and my coffee bar last year I did it in black and white and ghosts and I do plan to do the same thing this year because I love it so much and so that will still be a thing all right also tabletop decor these i picked up for my best friend um again for her daughter's birthday party um she wanted one of these signs and she was super worried she wasn't going to find it because she said it was like from last year's collection and so she was really worried well i went into several different dollar trees not just looking for this like looking for the things i'm looking for for lorelei's party and i found both of them at one store but in two different spots and this is all that I found. So I picked these up for her for her DIY that she's working on. I don't know what it is. I don't know any of the details. But even as is, so say you're not doing a DIY, this is super cute. It says Moonlight Elixir, um, Highly Toxic Spider Venom, Use at Your Own Risk. 
and then it's got the wolf wolf and then the poison one and it says pick your poison and I just I don't know I think it's really cute but I am super excited to see what she does with it as her DIY and she was looking like to see if she could buy one like second hand and was finding them like on eBay and stuff for like $16 plus shipping and I'm like well that's crazy they're trying to say it was Hobby Lobby that's not Hobby Lobby it's Dollar Tree but um super neat find nonetheless all right this is the last thing I think from the, specifically the Halloween section and that was these I don't have a purpose for them yet I will probably put sprinkles or something in them actually I probably will um, and put them on my coffee bar but they're just cute little glass laboratory flasks with the cork cover that would be really cute to put some like Halloween sprinkles in and put them on the coffee bar because then they're like a science experiment type thing I don't know or on my um or on my tear tray in my kitchen but I thought they were really neat and I did pick them up without a plan but I think that now is my plan now these are not necessarily um Halloween from their Halloween section but they are Halloween-ish and it's a redo a redo from last year because I do remember is that hold on oh yeah it's a redo because i remember them having them last year but i think they were a little bit different last year because it is this beauty intuition face powder and i remember it having a skull on it last year and now it's a spider web so i think it's the same thing this is oil control long lasting effects um from what i recall i didn't use it last year but people said it was a great highlighter because it's got like a little bit of shimmer in there, like just enough. And um, that it was loved last year. So I picked up this one. It's the face powder. And then this is the lip gloss and it has little bats in it. And I can't remember last year what the lip gloss had in it, but this year it has bats. It says it's hot, lo long lasting high shine, not tested on animals, beauty and tuition brand. Um, and they have the little stickers on them, which, not stickers, printed. You know, at least if it was stickers, we could try to take them off. But they're printing it on there now. And then they have the nail polish, which I also remember from last year, people saying was not very good. So, um, it says nail polish, dare to dazzle. And it's kind of like in the shape of a coffin with the skull and crossbones. And I think that the they're all slightly different than last year so I think it's like a redo but different redo like the same but different so I did pick them all up but I don't remember what all the details were on them last year I picked them up but I donate and give away and do a bunch of stuff so I don't recall ever using them so they went they went elsewhere but in the makeup section I did find a couple more things that were new to me and I always look for this packaging I guess not makeup this is in the nail section my stuff's trying to fall down um but I thought this was super pretty it so I'm doing a bluey party and it reminds me so much of bluey today actually while you're no not while you're watching this because it's not till later today but um it's got like the orange and like the blue tints to it and if my nails weren't done which one's breaking two are breaking um I would have polished my nails with this but I like the glitter polish that's not a full polish because then when it chips a little bit um, it's not quite as noticeable because it's just some glitter, but then you have like the polish still. And so that's why I picked it up because it just feels like something I would like. And that's like the color in there. Does it have a name? Git. Just Git. Number four. No. 741 Git. But I like the colors. So when, cause it's got like the whole polish has like a shimmer to it, but then it has like the glitter in it. Like I said, like if I just like don't have anything on my nails, but just do that. I like that a lot. I've been getting them done. These are my nails. Well, all but these two, these had to get acrylic on them and shellacked. So like they've been able to grow nicely. And as long as my husband wants to pay for me to get my nails done, I'm going to let him. But until I, as soon as that stops, I have these options. This one too came in this little package. This one's by Sally Hansen as well. But this is like a two-in-one. 
Sorry about the noise. So this one has just another one that's just like a real light shimmer to it, which I love those ones. And then this is a top coat. So I just thought that that was really neat. So you, I think you get a little less in each, but um, what a neat little way to make sure that you have both. Like if you're traveling and you're like, oh shoot, I didn't polish my nails, you can grab that and you have like both, both things. So I grabbed that because I really liked that idea. Um, now speaking of socks, because I've managed to get to them and they do take up a lot of room. Um, I got these, they're gonna be a gift for somebody I know who loves Star Wars. And so I've been collecting, it's for a couple. They're getting married on May 4th because May the 4th be with you. Um, so that just tells you. So I felt like they just needed these and I don't care who gets them out of the two, but um, I got these. So they're the Star Wars socks and this one is the child. I don't know a lot about Star Wars. I know like the very bare minimum, if that even. So I do know that that's the child, which I do forget that name a lot or baby Yoda. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, but they're crew socks, sizes 9 to 13. Um, I'm going to put together a little gift. I've also been collecting the Star Wars stickers that I find at Dollar Tree. There's another one with baby Yoda on there. So that one is also super cute. So here's where things get more difficult. Oh, I think that's um, I Am Your Father, Luke, I Am Your Father, Darth Vader. But there's something else in there too. I don't know what any of that means. Or what these things are but there's this pair and then um, this guy I know there's art I think it's art is it r2d2 no that's the like person like one I don't know tell me I don't yeah I feel like like as soon as I know the name because then there's BB BB something and then there's as soon as I see it I'll be like yeah duh, hello amber because camera's on but yeah so I got those so those are gonna be a gift and I have some stickers too that I've collected for her and um, I'm just gonna put together a little something probably for the bridal shower because they're obviously doing like a Star Wars theme and so I have to keep it until May but I will find a good spot for it um, all right in the just in whatever section I picked up more of the soap um, and I picked up the Sugar Dream because it just feels right for the fall. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't love foaming soap to begin with, I think, is part of my problem. And I have the, I love the smells of them. They smell delicious. But I don't know how clean they make my hands feel, to be completely honest. Because I have the coconutty smelling one already, like the tropical one or ocean, I don't know. But they just don't make my hands feel super clean. But I've already had picked this up and I think it'll be great for the upcoming season. But I grabbed that and it's like a dupe for Bath and Body Works. But I don't always pick up the foam stuff there either. I like the, the regular feeling like soap to be, to be fair. It's what I like. It's my preference. All right. The next three things I picked up for a reason. I got these. They're Pop Sugar, which I think is a really nice name brand bath oil beads they hydrate and smooth and moisturize skin while calming scents encourage relaxation and it's lavender vanilla i think it i tried to smell it but these have little things on them um and i got these and the next couple things because i had i saw an ask out on my local facebook group and they're trying to do a gift store for, to be able for kids who are less fortunate to come shop for their parents and siblings and they want to be able to help up to 200 families and I'm like that is right up my alley so as I'm getting ready for my garage sale and donating and getting rid of things I'm going to do a whole like thing that are like gift giftable items as I go through the bins because it could be gently used items as I go through the bins I'm going to collect things for this because this is just one of those things that are like like perfect for what I like to give to because I love to donate and I want to say I don't say this to get any kudos or any recognition I really just hope to inspire you to do something similar with whatever is within your means um, that if you can donate and give back in any kind of way that that would be amazing so hopefully that this will inspire you so that's more why I talk about it versus trying to get any actual recognition for it because I just like to give to give 
but I thought these would be something good that would go well in that. Last year I did something very similar. It's basically the same thing but to a different person who did it through her school. And um, I put together little packages of things that Dollar Tree items, which I'll probably do. I end up, by the end of the year I end up with such a stash of lotions, makeup, um, toiletry type items that I think I'm going to use and then I just end up with so many that my stash is big and so I'm going to put together like like gift bags and give them away like that but I thought this would be something good to give and then I also found and like this was also like near the makeup and stuff and I would never I, I wasn't picking it up for me necessarily but I think for a kid to see this cute little revitalizing body massager might be something that they'd want to give to their mom and so um, I grabbed this one. There was, I think there's just this one or maybe this one and one other one when I grabbed it. It needs three AA batteries, which I will try to remember to grab and add to it because anytime I gift anything that needs batteries, I like to try to inc include them. But um, that's why I picked that up. I think that that would be great. If you have this and used it, let me know. Give me like a, is it good? Because you never know with Dollar Tree stuff if it's actually good or not. And then you are gonna say yeah amber we all know i finally found the gigantic water bottles finally they came through my store at a dollar 25. Um, my stores are all plus stores and the plus section has very similar ones for i think three or five dollars well either three or five dollars whereas i have not come across the dollar 25 ones and i finally did but i'm also going to give this as one of those gifts um, and I'm looking for the new straw cups that like are the Starbucks dupes because I don't need any more. My, my cup collection is beyond full, but um, I think that it would be great something, you know, awesome gift to give. But I like this, it says 7 a.m. let's get started, 9 a.m. remember your goal, 11, keep it up, one, halfway there, three, you can do this, five, don't quit now, and seven, all in a day's work. And if you drink it all, you're getting 42 ounces of water give or take so a great way to remember to drink your water i do have some cups like this that i'm don't use i like the the ones that keep my water cold but i did get those to gift away so that i think is fun um this was a new to me find and i also got these for a gift because i love them and they're little mini pullback cars they have basically the same thing just like this at five below regularly I think that I've bought in the same exact thing from five below for five dollars um to add to gifts and now they have them at the dollar twenty they have them at the dollar twenty five or the dollar tree or the dollar twenty five tree but I picked up Minnie and Mickey because the other these are the only two characters they have but um they're the pullback cars and then they drive when you pull them back they don't work well because the rubber bands are in their way to show now but those are obviously going to be some gifts to a little and then lastly for this haul these were new to me i have been looking in the little figurine section like crazy because i'm pretty sure they're coming out with and i'm pretty sure some people have hauled the nightmare before christmas ones and those are the ones i really want to find but i did find monster high and these ones are new so they have always had or well, for as long as i can kind of in the recent memory toy story and they have like Peppa Pig and they have Blue, no, not Bluey, I wish they did. Um, Gabby's Dollhouse and several other ones, but Monster High was a new to me. So I picked up the four different ones I could find. I know not a thing about Monster High, except if you find them inexpensively, if you find them, they tend to have a lot of value on eBay. But um, I don't know anything else about them. But I also, they have had Monster High books at Dollar Tree. So what a neat gift that would be to find some of the gift, the books and gift them with these cute little figures. And so we have her. I think she's cute. But again, I, she looks like she's probably a mermaid because she has a seashell with her. Their little stands are like little coffins because they're Monster High. And I just know their books and they're figurines but beyond that I don't know a lot and there's this girl and then lastly she's cute too she has little ears let's see can you see the ears without the glare her so those are the four different ones I found I don't know if there's any more because that's all I found they say Mattel they say a dollar twenty oh they say a dollar twenty five I'm like wait a sec I know I saw it on there 
Um, but they also don't say anything about Greenbrier. So I don't know what they've done with their, like, their, um, grouping, like how they do it. Because this also doesn't say Greenbrier, but it is on there. And it says Disney, but that's on there. It's not a sticker. But guys, that's what I have for you. Um, like I said, kind of at the beginning, um, I have four ideas for my trunk or treat. Ghosts, Haunted Carnival, Barbie, or Wednesday, which I made last year but didn't get to use because of the weather. But we used it for a birthday party instead. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are. What should I do for my trunk or treat? And if you have anything that you think is a great idea beyond those, feel free to give me those ideas too. i gotten the ideas previously when I've asked, so I'm just... I have, I'm one of, my decision on this is like all over the place, so I haven't decided yet. But I hope you're having an amazing day. Just know I'm having a busy day because it is Saturday and it's birthday party day. That's why I'm pre-recording this. Um, I'm not going to add to it because we're already at 26 minutes. If I buy enough stuff, I'll do a separate haul with the stuff before the party of what I buy for the, I'm doing a game called Pass the Parcel which they have on Bluey and it's basically you wrap something up with like multiple layers of wrapping paper and you play a song and then kind of like musical chairs and whoever has the gift in front of them at the time gets to take a layer off until somebody ends up with the prize and so I'm going to do that but I want to do it so everyone gets a prize because that's how I roll and so everyone will get something fun but um I will see you guys in the next one this upcoming week I hope you are having an amazing weekend, an amazing day. I cannot wait till I see you next time. Bye guys.